Okay, well, it's uh, right now going, well, it's not quite the middle of May, but uh, it soon will be here in two, three days. So we have May and then the month of June and then July, and guess what's in July, the 4th of July. So today we're going to do an Uncle Sam. All right, <clears throat> I've done a little bit of it right here, and uh, for those that have had... Uh, uh, have seen my videos before they kind of understand what this is this tells me that it's the front I've checked the uh, block of wood out and I want to find the <clears throat> front that has the straightest grain because that'll give me the ability to do the best detail and and then <clears throat> I, this uh, line right here is going to be the beginning of our uh, the hat for Uncle Sam so I've got the Gonna, the line all the way around is going to be for just the top of the brim of the hat and <clears throat> like like everything else uh, I'm going to start with the with the corners now I'm going to put and I could right <clears throat> right now put um, the bottom of the rim so that I know which direction to come from either from up above down or from down below up so I will make my other line so there we will be no mistake all right so I'm gonna come up from up above and go to down to the line so I'm gonna start with my stop cut then I'm gonna go up just a little bit do my almost stop cut so I'm almost going to the to the line and and then going back and forth I'm going to keep doing that go to the other corner come down now as you can see right here I've got a little bit of a dark spot what that is it's a little hard spot right there and uh, hopefully we will uh, be able to uh, work around that um, sometimes it's just a little brown on the on the top this looks like it's going a little bit deeper so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this okay so it gives us some more more corners. I don't want to go too deep because realize it's a little bit deep here but then it's going to be a little bit deep here a little bit deep here so you don't want to go you don't want to go too deep. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to start rounding off this, these corners. Like I said, hopefully that little thing right here won't be a problem. But you know what? You pick up a piece of wood. You gotta go with what you what you have. You know. And it makes it look like a piece of wood, which it is. You have to work with the grain. If you start doing something and you can feel it digging, digging in, back out, go the opposite direction. Be aware how much pressure you're putting on it. Just 
just taking a little bit off, and then I can, if I want to, I can actually make a line around here rather than just picking it up and looking at it every once in a while, but that's okay. Rounding that off. Yeah, it's starting to starting to fade out there. So I think we'll be okay. All right. Oh, next thing we're gonna do. is start from the bottom. Now this is where I want to explain once I start going here this is just a little tiny piece of wood. There's no support for it up above. No support very support, uh, little support around where I'm going to be carving. So I have to be really conscious of where the pressure is that I'm going, that I'm uh, putting on it by cutting it. <clears throat> Understand the knife is just a sharp wedge so it's, it's causing the space to like right now when I do this there's a space that I create don't know if it's so much actually a cut or is it just as an impression but so I'm pushing in and I just want a little tiny bit I don't really want right now to pop off that corner so I'm just being real delicate I'm gonna come underneath do an almost cut I'm not going quite to that cut if you notice it it closed closed that gap right there so I'm going to go up real delicately and then I'm going to go back do that again rock it back and forth there we go now I don't have to worry about that corner for a while okay same thing over here just going to rock it back and forth delicately not too much pressure come underneath just a little ways go up to it see how it closed that gap right there now it's putting pressure on the wood up above it and I don't want it to do that so I'm going to go in open that gap up again okay now I've got my was able to take out some wood right there okay so I have to be careful here this is kind of brittle this is where that either uh, mineral deposit or something something happened to the wood right there so this is going to be in the back so doesn't really matter. Oh, but always think about that pressure that I'm causing on that. I'm walking back and forth. Come up underneath to almost cut. <clears throat> and you keep doing that to that little tiny piece of wood just naturally just pops right out. You know, you'll notice for a while that this is going to look an awful lot like the, the leprechaun. And it's like with anything else, you take the elements that you learn from one project, transfer them over to another project. Just integrate it. I'm not going too deep underneath underneath the brim of the hat. I can always go back and take out more. Always take out more. All right. So we're back. Now I still know that that's the uh, that's the front of my carving. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the shoes. So what I'm going to do is just come up about a quarter of an inch. And I'm only going to go down about a third, maybe a little bit more on the side. Same, 
same distance on each side make sure that my line is okay so now what I'm going to do is take and rock that back and forth in the corner come from up above I'm going to bring out the bring out the shoes just about a quarter of an inch above it realizing that I'm putting pressure right now on that particular piece of wood or part of the wood right there so I'm going to rock that back and forth make another stop cut come back up go down keep doing that until that little piece of wood naturally just pops right out do the same thing on the other corner just be really aware how much pressure you're putting right there this this is a real delicate spot where a lot of my students have popped off those popped off those feet Okay, and then I'm going to rock it back and forth a little bit, come from up above, go down. Again, I'm closing that gap, so I have to be careful. So I'm going to put the blade back in, rock it back and forth. Okay. And I'm going to start. Now I'm creating some space to put that, so that energy and that force has got a place to go. So I'm not quite as concerned about it but I still have to be careful how much force I'm putting pushing down just stay with the idea it's an almost cut you're not trying to make stop cut and then go right down to the piece of wood and take that out the first time you're just multiple multiple cuts All right, so now if we look over to the side, you can kind of see how far I went down into into the wood to bring out the bring out the feet. Okay, so there we are looking at the front and the sides. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is going to take draw a line right down the front right down the middle of my wood then over here see where the for the foot uh, foot ends right here I'm gonna draw a line right there draw another one right there okay now next thing going to do is I'm going to take and again making sure that I know where the force is going right here I'm going to make me a rock my knife back and forth okay a little bit farther down the side a little bit more to the front now I'm going to come quite a bit quite far down the the side corner here and come up remember it's an almost cut make sure that you're just putting enough pressure on there you have control of your knife see how it come out okay I'm not going to keep pushing I'm going to stop I'm going to go back rock that back and forth and just delicately take that piece out there now I can go underneath and what I want to do is to connect this line with that line there it gives me my triangle there to do my face in a few minutes okay same thing I'm gonna rock this back and forth putting a little pressure but not very much aware of up above come down go up keep control don't push it all the way to the stop cut now stop cut it over to the line okay I'm gonna go a little lower controlling my knife so it doesn't pop up and knock that knock that corner off I will round that off in a minute okay so how we're starting to make our little connect this line here with this line here. 
giving us our triangle. with the grain of the wood here. You can tell this is kind of digging in just a little bit so I'm going to go the other direction. Take out that. Grains can change direction too in the middle of the piece of wood. They don't always have to stay go in the same direction down the whole the whole piece of the wood. I don't know if you can see that or not, but okay. So we've got our angle here it goes from here to here, and from here to here, and I'll use a measuring, but I think we're pretty close. So we're here. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. This the side here needs to, needs to take a little more, take a little slice off of that up there. Okay. What you want is a nice, a nice smooth, smooth transition. If you look up here, you don't. It isn't. It doesn't go down and then bulge out. It goes <clears throat> just straight, right from the, from the midline to the sideline. And there, it's not rounded. It's just straight, straight angle. Okay. Look up underneath. Got about the same spot on both sides. Okay. Now what we can do is we actually can round off those corners because those, those things are kind of dangerous just out there sticking can catch. So I'm just going to take my knife and just smooth off, just round off those corners. I'm not going to take much off, just keep it from giving it something to catch on to and pop off. Okay, now, <clears throat> now we get to decide about our Uncle Sam, if we want a beard, want a mustache, how we, what, what do we want on him? So what I normally do is I will normally take and just not right in the right in the corner right here, but down a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. I'll just give him a give him a short beard and okay, just a short one, maybe even just a goatee. I don't know see what happens and then I used to come over here right at the right at the corner giving a little bit all right and then over here on this side here the same thing giving just a little bit some long hair because he hasn't had a haircut like myself for for a while all right and here I am a barber <clears throat> so Okay, now I'm going to connect those two and make sure that they're straight across from each other. And this one's just a tad bit, a tad bit lower. So I'm going to even that out. Okay, good enough. Now, again, using the tip of your knife, okay, you want to know where the tip of your knife is at. You're going to, instead of going straight in, boom, you're going to angle just like a, just like a beardwood angle down towards his feet just so it tapers down just a little bit so I'm gonna put the tip of my knife in and I'm just gonna run that down that direction same thing over here keeping my knife angled just a little bit okay also they have to be concerned with this little spot right here this is a dangerous little spot because what happens is that your knife goes into there, it comes over here, and you're trying to draw it out, 
but when you do look where your thumb is right there below that blade so <clears throat> what I usually do instead of going across and keep going is that I'll go to that point and then I'll take my tip and just dig just dig in just a little bit same thing on the side here you can go here get to that spot and just dig just kind of a push all right <clears throat> now I'm gonna take just that little piece of wood again knowing where the tip of my knife is and not trying to dig into the bottom of the beard just taking taking off a little bit of that same thing over here on this side nice wood I like this wood this is good good wood to be able to carve okay now again I'm going to taper down or I'm going to angle down just a little bit I'm not going to go straight in on this line here just kind of rock it back and forth come about a quarter of an inch underneath it go up keep doing that a little bit of a time not try to take it all out at once same thing over here rock that back and forth come underneath okay so I'm gonna look you notice this color well it's a little bit higher right here on this side here so I can take care of that okay here we're angled, angled uh, evened up evened up okay starting to look pretty good huh starting to look like an Uncle Sam all the time all right now there's a couple ways you could do that do this on the back here to take out the wood you can go straight in just take the corner Same here. And you can also just lay it across, come underneath. Okay. Get a side view, front view, side view back view All right so <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is I'm going to taper in underneath the, the brim of the hat I'm going to taper in these little these little side uh, edges so I'm going to start just right right at the, the bottom I'm not going to go underneath the, the hair or underneath the beard but I'm just going to start right at that just take a little tiny piece of wood out, angle it underneath. Angle it underneath. Don't don't want to take too much, too much wood. Just same thing on the back of the hair here. I'm gonna angle it underneath. Underneath the hat. one not too far underneath see him over here there's that piece of wood if you had I would say if if it was too much bigger I wouldn't I wouldn't try because one it dulls your knife yours project as you're carving along here looking just as good you're doing doing great okay all right so now you can kind of see how I've got that how that's kind of angled a little bit underneath the brim of the hat okay 
All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our hands. We're gonna make our arms and our hands. All right, so the way we do that, we've got, uh, we know he's probably gonna be wearing a jacket, okay? So <clears throat> let's say the, the cuff of the jacket is gonna end about that right there. That's pretty natural. Now we gotta give it a little bit more for a hand, okay? So I'm going to bring that over to the front so I can match those up on the other side. Here we go. All right. And there's my sleeve. There's my hand. And while I'm over here, I'm going to make my, my pant, pant cuff line and that's going to go from the corner of the foot down to the corner of the back of the back of the carving peck here same thing over here on this side okay cuff hand i mean sorry yeah the sleeve hand cuff all right <clears throat> so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to start actually with the uh, uh cuff the pant cuff so i'm going to lay my blade on that line rock it back and forth just going down just a little bit not a lot now I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch follow that line go underneath there take out that little piece of wood again you don't want to put too much pressure same thing over on this side rock it back and forth quarter of an inch, take out that little piece of wood. Okay. <clears throat> so now can you kind of see what I what I did? Okay. A little little chinga right there that I need to get rid of. Okay. Yep. A little bit too, a little bit more right there. Yep, take a little bit of wood at a time. Okay. A little bit of wood at a time. All right. Now, next thing is I'm going to make the, uh, cut out the part for the hand, or at the end of the hand. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rock this back and forth. Now, <clears throat> where's my pressure? I've got a little piece of wood right here that I have to be kind of careful of. So I'm going to just rock that back and forth. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to go below this pan cup, but just above it, I'm going to lay my blade just above it, and then I'm just going to push a little bit, not real hard, because I don't want to take out that, take out that uh, hand or piece of wood up above it. Go do an almost cut, rock back and forth, and that little piece of wood just naturally comes out. Go a little deeper, just so I can make a and right there okay so you can kind of see right here that's the bottom of my hand it goes a little more if you want to go into All right same thing on the side rocket on the line back and forth no I'm not going to go underneath the pant leg just above it I'm going to take out that piece of wood but I'm not going to take it out all at once I'm going to do the almost cut See how that closed that gap right there? I want to open that back up again, take out that piece of wood. Okay. Checking my dimensions. It's like right here in front. Okay. Gonna take out the piece of wood there. All right. So there we go. Now I'm going to make my my sleeve. Now I have kind of a ridge right here. So I'm just going to kind of round that off so I have a little bit better surface to to ride on because I'm going to make some lines. Okay. Gonna make some lines. All right. 
And the lines that I'm going to make, so I'm going to take from the shoulder, from the tip of the shoulder, and I'm going to come in, angle just a little bit. Same thing over here. I'm going to come down, angle in just a little bit. Now I can look at it and go, yeah, those, those pretty much match up pretty good. All right, now I'm going to take and draw a line down. See, it gives me a lot of little um, room in here to uh, to you know put some details, uh, you know, in each jacket and stuff like that. All right, <clears throat> so now I'm going to take the tip of my knife. I'm going to lay it right in the corner, right where his armpit is at and I'm going to just push down. I'm not going to just going to rock it a little bit, just a little tiny bit. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> the tip of my knife. I'm going to run it down the inside of his arm. Not a lot, just the inside of his arm all the way down. All the way down to his feet. Okay. Now, I don't have an actual line, but I have a natural ridge right here and that's going to be the ridge that I'm going to follow to take that little piece of wood out. Now you want to just take a little bit at a time know where the tip of your knife is and look at that I just popped right out. Another one of those good times that pop noise is a good thing. Same thing on the other side gonna just put it right in his armpit Rock it back and forth just a little bit, not pushing hardly any pressure at all, just pushing down a little bit. I'm going to take my knife, go on the inside of the arm, come down, just watching the tip of my knife. Not going in there too deep. If I want to go a little deeper, I can go back in and go a little deeper. And then following that ridge, following that ridge. And hear that pop. It'll come. There we go. So it's a small one. chingas okay all right you're doing great all right now we've got these these uh, sharp ridges right here so I'm just going to take and just smooth that going with the edge I went to go went to go down and felt that felt that dig into that grain with like nope get it back out go with the grain Same thing on the side here. Okay, see how that was rounded. It's rounded out. That look great. Isn't that fun? It's a happy carving. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is I'm going to draw in my line where my Okay, I've got a little bit of some rough wood right there. I'm just going to smooth that, smooth that out. So I'm going to be doing some drawing there. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to make a front line here so I know. We'll take care of that back later. And over here. Even that, even that up. How does that look to you? I think I'm a little bit high. So I'm gonna, all right. So now I'm going to take a knife, just put it right along that line. On the now, this is the front, so you know. Okay, this is the cuff of his sleeve. Just going to rock that back and forth a little, little tiny bit, hardly any at all. Come up underneath, do an almost cut. 
go back in just take that out so it's just a separation from the sleeve cuff to the hand going underneath okay same thing over here just separating the sleeve from the hand just pushing down a little tiny bit hardly at all just taking out that little piece right there and there's our hands okay isn't that cool all right now I'm gonna just round off where his belly's at and just round that off and just kind of blend that in if I want to give him keep him a little bit of a belly that's good <clears throat> now <clears throat> okay, so I kind of have a nice place to draw give me a little all right now he's, he's going to have a jacket so my i've got to decide if, do i want a vest do i want a jacket you know what let's make him a vest let's make him a vest so we're going to we're going to come down leave a little space right in here so you can see his shirt and I'm just going to come down and I'm going to turn that vest go over and meet gives me a little bit of a reference and I'm going to go over and meet his the sleeve on his uh, on his shirt right there <clears throat> and now while I'm here I'm going to put a belt on him so right above the line where the the vest goes down to uh, to the cuff I'm going to put a straight line just a little bit above that and then you're going to look at and go hmm, more is it natural is he kind of high water pants in it or what's he doing and I'm going to put another one right there and there's our <clears throat> there's our belt okay there's our belt on him can you see that now I'm going to make our usual separation of the legs. I'm going to make our little V and come down and separate our separate our legs. Okay. Make sure it's even on both sides and as well as can be that the shoes are separated well too. All right. Now we're going to going to do take the tip of our knife and we're going to follow that line of the vest. And just we're just going to go in just a real shallow cut and going to push just a little bit. Come over and make that turn. Now, you want to be able to go straight down and not not at an angle because you don't want to take out you don't want to pop out any wood pieces of uh, any wood on either side of that cut so so try to go as close to straight in on this part as you can and just follow that follow that around okay now <clears throat> just on the just to take a sliver out you're going to go from the inside of the vest to the outside not from the outside of the vest inside so you're going to go from the inside of the vest towards the outside so we're just going to take put our tip of our knife in there and we're just going to take that little sliver out now the other thing you could do you could do this with a V tool take that out too so and again inside out just taking a little little sliver out okay just want to separate the vest from the shirt now I'm going to take <clears throat> rock my knife back and forth on the top of the belt just a little tiny bit a little shallow cut now I want to go from up to down okay so because you want the belt to stand out so you don't want to go from the belt up if that makes sense <clears throat> so we're just going to take a little tiny piece of wood 
just go right up above it. I just want that I want that belt to stand out. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take and take the tip of my knife, draw it across the bottom of the belt. Now, instead of going from up down, I'm going to go from down up so that I want the belt to stand out. So I'm just going to take my knife, just take a little bit of that, a little bit of that wood just to, just to bring out that. And again, I'm trying to do the almost cut because I don't want to pop out that piece of wood because there's hardly any wood at all right there. Right, for the for the V there to separate the pants, just going to push. Put right there in the corner, push. Take out that little piece of wood right there. Just going to push, following the line. And then I'm going to quite a bit dig, take the tip of my knife and dig in, just kind of do a half circle cut, controlling my knife. Now I'm just going to go on each side of that line and take out a piece of wood, separate, separate those legs. I think that's the first time I've actually blown on this. <laughs> blow that those chips out since <clears throat> since I started that's pretty cool it's always fun to look at your carving and go hey that's kind of cool all right <clears throat> now the way that I that I try to keep from chipping out my feet and again my students I saw this happen over and over and over and over again then the disappointment and the discouragement when they pop off from those feet so I've been trying to figure out for years and years how to Again, um, displace that energy, displace that force, so that you're not um, popping out the uh, the wood, and uh, can get your nice fine detail in. So what I do is I'm looking from the obviously the top of the hat down to the feet, and so I'm going to draw a triangle from out there on the separation of the feet on to both sides. Okay, let's see that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to try to create a space right in here so that that energy and that force has a place to go so it doesn't pop off my feet. So I'm going to angle, angle my knife in and I'm going to angle it because I want to take a chip out. And, and do this carefully. You're just trying to create a space for that force, for that force to go, so you don't pop off those feet. See what I did? Let me clean that up. Okay, and there I've got it. Now what I can do is so you take my blade, I lay it right, right along that line, push in just a little tiny bit. I mean, don't push too hard. Again, your force is going out this direction here. You pop off those feet. So you just want to, you just want to lay that on there and just rock it back and forth. And now take, take a little bit of a wedge. Again, you're creating a space. You just created a space for that force to go. And so you can go down a little bit more, a little bit more. Taking out just that, taking out that wedge. And guess what? There you've got it. There you've got it. You can see here. Okay. Now all you have to do is you've got kind of a sharp sharp ridge right there. You just take your knife and just round that over. Guess what? There you go. You've got it. You've got those feet. You don't have to worry about 
popping those popping those off okay sweet love it love it love it all right while we while we're back here let's go ahead and take care of this back so first thing we want to do is to round off these these edges right here give us a surface a little bit of a surface to uh, draw on okay so I'm just gonna round off that corner right there just round it off okay right now understandably you're gonna know okay I've got a vest here in the front have a vest right here so that vest obviously has got to go all the way around to the back same place my the point that I know that it's the uh, line is going is right there where the cuff of the sleeve goes that's my okay so next thing I'm going to do is the same thing I did at the front I'm going to draw a little line from the shoulder down and all the way down okay so <clears throat> same thing take my knife go up here at the shoulder line just rock it a little tiny bit boy all you want is just a little tiny stop cut okay now here's my line I want to keep some some meat some wood right here so I don't want to take I don't want to make these skinny arms so I'm just gonna take this little corner out right here see it gives me plenty of plenty of room on that on that uh, sleeve so right <clears throat> so I've got that going to go straight in and I'm going to go right along that line take out take out that piece of wood nice same thing over here take out that just rock it little little tiny bit take it down Take out that corner. Take out that corner, and that just comes comes right out. Comes right out. Okay. Now I've got the bottom of the vest right here so I'm going to take my knife rock it back and forth and I want to come up from underneath up so that brings out the vest so that the pants go underneath the vest take out a little piece of wood just enough to separate that let's take off that that <clears throat> now I don't need to make I don't need to make this separation here so all I have to do is just back here I mean I can pencils don't work it can but I also can just make a straight line and the easy way to do that is to take the tip of your knife just angle it in a little tiny bit don't put any pressure at all on it just rocks that back and forth and same here here where it's going to stick and I just separated my legs back here okay and I'm gonna just round round that uh, edge off there on the back of his pant legs Okay, 
All right, same thing. I'm just going to take and take a little sliver off off the back here to round off round off that uh, that back. Okay. Everybody good? All right. So, we are getting really close. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to do a headband. I mean, hat band. So I'm going to draw just above the hat, or just above the brim of the hat, a line, and meet it. Hopefully it meets. So next thing is just take my knife and just roll it. Just going to roll that blade all the way around just a little shallow stop cut okay that's what I need now I'm going to go up just a little bit oh, maybe about an eighth of an inch come down do an almost cut rock it back and forth a piece of wood came right out going to do that same thing. You're just going to take a slim sliver from up above down. Just take it nice, nice and slow. Just bringing out that uh, hat band. and slow relaxing put you to sleep here in a minute hypnotize you you are getting sleep no don't want to want don't want you going to sleep while you're carving that's probably not a safe <clears throat> safe way to do it all right so there's our there's our hat Everything needs to be done. Oh, let, let's take off these uh, these sharp ridges around the around the sleeve. Okay, there we go. Obviously, this is your carving too, so you can do whatever you want to. You want to you want to leave those ridges? Hmm? Leave them. some saw marks there okay I'm gonna show you a slick and I, and I think I've sh sh showed this before you see right here see where the fingers just go straight down you know sometimes what we do is that we put our fingers and then we kind of do this right kind of angle in so a real simple way to do that is I'll draw a line but you won't have to that's right in the middle of the fingers you want to just take off a little tiny bit just makes those fingers kind of fold under just a little bit. So in the middle of the hand, just take a little tiny bit off. There you go. See right here? See how those... It's a little bit more detail in it, so it's kind of cool. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the face. One of my favorite parts. All right, so what we want to do is uh, the first thing that I usually do is to put in a nose or the line, the bottom, uh, the bottom of the nose line. So I'm going to make it. Uh, I might actually make him with just a goatee. So I don't know if I want to do a full beard. So there's there's the the bottom of my nose right there. All right. Now I'm going to make my triangle. my nose and as you can see I always give plenty of material plenty of material I can always take it off but you it's really hard to glue it back on 
So, next thing we want to do is the goatee. So, I'm going to put in put in his goatee. And his mouth is going to go about right there. Okay. Now that seems it seems like um, that his uh, you know he's got an awfully awfully long nose and his eyes are going to be clear over here and whatever but it doesn't have to be that way so <clears throat> what you want to do is you look at the carving you say okay eyes tell me where you want to be and sure enough it'll say you know what I want to be about right there I want to be about right there Again, it's let me let me out. I'm in this piece of wood. Okay. So what I'm going to do is now make my nose. So I'm going to start at the bottom of my nose. I'm going to rock it back and forth. Put the blade right along that line. Rock it back and forth. Now, again, you're putting pressure up above. This is where you can pop off a nose so easy. So, put put your uh, the blade right along the bottom of the nose, rock it back and forth just a little tiny bit, just enough to create a space right there. Going to come down just a little bit, do an almost cut, a very delicate almost cut. I'm coming up, I'm closing that gap. It's closed, now I'm putting pressure up here. So now I'm going to go open that back up again. And push a little further. Then I'm going to come down below. Do it again. Guess what? I didn't pop off the nose. I did not pop it off. That's great. That's the objective. Do a carving. Don't pop off the nose. All right. Now I'm going to take my knife, run it down again. I I don't go straight in. I know it's hard to imagine, but if you go straight in, you're not really going straight in. You're actually going at an angle in you, uh, towards the center of the nose, and you can cut it off. So you want to keep as much meat and as, um, as possible on that nose. So I'm going to angle my knife more out towards the edge of the nose. And again, on the other side, I'm going to angle it out towards the outside of the nose not going straight down okay and I'm gonna swivel my knife so that it, I'm not not pulling down any further I'm just okay <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take out a sliver right at the side of the nose not gonna make sure you know where the tip of your knife is go up Take out that piece of wood. Okay. Take out that piece of wood. Same thing over on this side. Put the tip of my knife right at the tip of the bottom of the nose. I'm going to push up a little bit. Don't have to do this all at once, just a little bit at a time. Cut down, take out that piece of wood. Isn't that cool. Isn't that neat? Okay. There's my nose. We thought we had a lot of material on that nose, but look at that. It thinned up a lot. It thinned up a lot. All right. Now, right at the tip of the nose, right at or right above the tip of the nose, maybe about right there, I'm going to place my blade. And I'm going to angle up underneath the brim of the hat. And there's my nose. And there's my nose. Right out now in full view. Just like my nose. And 
got quite a snoz. Okay, so there's my there's my nose. If I want to, I can take just touch those edges up, just round that off, so it's not quite so quite so sharp. I mean the edges of the knife. Okay, so now. Now my goatee. So I take the tip of my knife. I'm gonna go make kind of a circular or a little bit of a arch in that goatee. Don't push too hard. Okay. Now I'm gonna go from the out upside, from this, from above the goatee down to it, because I wanna I wanna bring out that goatee. Okay, I'm bring out the goatee. And even it up there a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> and now what I'm gonna do is that his hair is a little bit long, so I'm gonna, gonna separate his face from the hair. We're not making ears. Cover, the hair is going to cover up the ears. So now I'm going to take my knife. Just follow that line. Follow that line. And from the face towards, I want the hair to stand a little bit out. So I'm going from the face to the outside of the hair. Same thing here. Okay, so there's my all right. Okay, so and our mouth. Giving a little bit of a smile. I mean, it's 4th of July, it's his day. We'll put in, not going to put in a real big one because obviously it's being covered up with hair, so. All right. Oh, now if we want here, remember here's our here's our cheekbones right here. So if we want to put in some cheekbones, we just go down and just right below that. Take out that little piece of wood below the cheekbones and. Seems like on the uh, Uncle Sam posters that he does have a little bit of a um, cheekbones. Okay, just going to clean up the side of his nose here a little bit. Okay. Now there's some little details that I like to put in put in here. Um, one to put a little bit of movement into his um, uh, his his arms, you know where where it, where it bends, and he's got a jacket. What I like to do is to put in some wrinkles. So I put in a little triangle right here where his arms bend so that you see that and you just 
barely, just barely push down. Just barely push down, just to put a little bit of a hint of a wrinkle right there. And I can do the same thing with his pants. To put a little bit of movement in with his pants. I can just put a, don't push real hard, just touch that blade in there and take out a little tiny bit of wood. Puts a little bit of a wrinkle right there. Another one over here on this side. Just kind of give some movement. Give some movement to it. Same thing, <clears throat> same thing on the back. You can just put in these little these little wrinkles. And sometimes I actually like right here I'll put in a little bit of a a little bit of an ink wrinkle right there. You finish off his cuffs back here. Okay. Now at this point right here, now we could decide whoop, now we could decide um, what kind of an expression we want to make in a lot of ways. All right, so <clears throat> now what we're going to do is I'm just going to do one, one a couple little uh, things, and then we're going to get into uh, using. Uh, it's a tool that I've that I've used before. You're probably familiar with. But it's uh, called a V tool. And there's different sizes, but what I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you right here is that I just you just have to take again. Or these are little details that you know you'll get into. Um, just round off the top. Of that, uh, of those shoes, you know, just so they look more like more look more like shoes. Okay, all right. So now I'm going to use a V tool. And the reason I use a V tool primarily is for hair, and that's what we're into right now is, is hair. So <clears throat> the way that I do a a beard or a goatee, I try to think of the way that the hair grows. So usually I will put in little lines just so that I can kind of keep it uniform and even. Okay, so here's my here's my little goatee. And there's two directions you can go. Obviously, you can go up or you can go down. Uh, I prefer to do sometimes both. So I'm going to do <clears throat> I'm going to do both. So what I'm going to do is that I take my finger and I put it right to the side. This is strictly for control. Uh, this is I think one of the smallest uh, this is a uh, Swiss made um, smallest V tools that it's I think it's just called a point point one M or something like that <clears throat> so so I'm gonna go about midway in his hair and I'm gonna follow that line mid here midway I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna go up this helps me keep control so I don't take off his upper lip. And then I come in, I go in between those lines to go down. Probably got my head right in the way. Okay, so there's, there's my little goatee. Now I'm going to do the same thing uh, on his hair, and I'm going to start uh, instead of half, I'm going to go, go down just a little, little ways further. I'm going to do that all the way around. Hopefully, I'm so, gl so glad that. Uh, mineral deposit and 
mess this up. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm going to go along, go in between. Gives just a little bit, a little bit more texture. All right, so there I'm through with my, through with my VTOL. Unless I want to go around and and just kind of sharpen up corners, but you know, be careful because your VTOL has to be really, really sharp, or it'll, you know, maybe pop out some, some wood. So you want to be, make sure that. Your uh, your V tool is oh one other thing while I'm doing this the hand okay so and I've done this before so the way to get five fingers is to do three on the side one two three so I got one two three four and then I'm gonna make a uh, thumb two three and the way I do a thumb is that I kind of angle it like this. Okay, so I'm um, going to go up, one, two, three, and then I'm going to follow that line down with my V-tool. <laughs> Same way on this side. and follow that down so there's my fingers and for my uh, for my thumb I'm just going to take and separate those I could do it with a knife but it's a little easier with a VTOL so there we go I am now done with my uh, V tool. Okay, so there's my a little corner right there. And then we'll paint it and we'll have our little uh, Uncle Sam. <laughs>